So what we're looking at is two different contrasts within a final position of a tri fitting. 48 year old woman, Ironman competitor, very fit, fairly flexible, had a left side bias, which is fairly normal. So we added the GMI saddle pressure mapping system towards the end of the session. And this was the final one. And so what you can see here in a couple of different versions, I'll show you in 2D where the pressure is, including maximum pressure, and then also line of regression. And as we go back to, and also in a 3D format, but the important thing is we go through here isobars and we want to look at the movement as the person is actually pedaling. We do dynamic fit, which is more critical than something in a stationary format. So as you can see here, all of the movement back and forth. So we have an increase of pressure in millibars on both the left and the right as the person was pedaling, even though uh, by all accounts, I was happy with the fit and the client was happy with the fit. If you look over here on the right, pressure were 480 or a, a bright green color would be middle of the pressure range. We're at the lower end or 25 percentile of the range back and forth with movement. Analytics, which is the other asset, will show um, pressure not only front to back but also left to right. This is important to see how very small movements will create different pressure applications um, at the end of the day, the right side being better or a higher level of the existing fit for what we had with the client. Um, more pressure, more area allowed for a more comfortable um, sitting application.